The stunt girl? No. Uh, are you involved with animals? Uh, not for, you know, uh, in your work. <laughs> in other words, do you work with animals when you're doing your particular sort of work? Yes. Uh, would your particular sort of work have anything to do with a rodeo? No. Oh. Two down eight to go, Alan. Uh, Larry, I think I'm going to have to disqualify myself. When okay. you said Buleton, Buleton, and when you said that, I think I know who the lady is. All right, lovely. Thank you, Alan. Arlene? Oh, you do? Tell uh, me. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you, uh, do you work in something other than what you're wearing now? Yes. Uh, are you ever on or near water? When you perform? Occasionally. Uh, it's but not actually, frequent. Yeah, it wouldn't have anything to do, do with, with the work. function necessarily, no. Supi? Would you be at home if you were at, say, uh, Aqueduct or at uh, Hollywood Park? No. Four down and six to go, Fanny. Uh, you are in show business. Um, do, do you have anything to do with uh, training of animals? Yes. Yes. Do you train animals? That's what she does. But I have to find out what sort of animals you train. Well, that I tell you, thing? that's close enough. She trains them for films and for TV. Uh -oh. And that's oh. for <laughs> And very, very well. Pat, together with her husband, Ted, trained Chauncey, the star of the Ford Motor Company's Lincoln Mercury commercial. Oh, the I cougar that gets out. That's the little <laughs> devil. Oh, is he here? Well, we will be in a minute, or somebody will be. Listen, I understand, I'm from the University of Houston, and I'd like you to sign this, please. <laughs> uh, we were called the Cougars when I was there, and they have oh, a really? Cougar that's there in, the, in a cage. Do you have anything to do with that Cougar? No. Because he was used at one time on those commercials. Uh, well, possibly in, in a, a dealer when commercial the earth was or flat, something, huh? but not, not on the... Uh, Old Chauncey's the cat, is he? Yes. Now, I understand that you and your cougar just made a 4,000-mile trip sponsored by Lincoln Mercury. Yes. What was the purpose of the tour? Well, actually, it wasn't to promote the car. It really wasn't. We are doing a 4,000-mile trip. We have an orphanage for wild animals in Buellton. And uh, for every animal who's a star, we must have 50 who are not stars, and they've been Life abused. is like that. Yeah. It's amazing. And they have the same agents I do. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it costs us a lot of money to feed them and care for them, so Lincoln Mercury is sending us across the country to raise funds for our orphan animals. Where do you get orphan animals from? Unfortunately, people buy them for pets, and please don't get a wild animal for a pet, anybody. Right. Uh, they do not make suitable pets, and the animal is the one that always suffers, and we have to give them a home because... What's the biggest one you have? Our elephant. <laughs> <laughs> What's the littlest one you have? Marcus Wallaby, our wallaby. Oh. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> People bought a wallaby and an elephant for fun? Frequently they buy wallabies. Elephants are a little more unusual. Nina was... You have to have a big yard for that. <laughs> Our elephant was in a traveling circus. I see. <laughs> so. Listen, we have some film from Pat. She's brought us some fascinating behind-the-scenes film of shooting a sign of the cat commercial. So let's look at that now. Lloyd, could you roll it? As they get older, for instance, Chauncey gets better with every year. Uh, Chauncey, our official Mercury Cougar, is uh, 200 pounds in weight. Chauncey's the only cat I can think of that actually reasons, though. He knows what it's all about. He knows that as soon as he sees that car, he's got to get on top of it, and he's got to lie down, he's got to snarl. Come here, Godfather. Come here, Godfather. Hey, Chauncey! Hey, Exhausted, physically. Pat is a mother substitute. I'm dad. There has to be that dual control. There has to be the baby Kuchiku voice along with the daddy's voice of be careful, be good, take it easy. They still love me. They still want to work for me. Uh, but if they misbehave or they start getting rough, dad will say no. Now stay. Come here. Stay. And they come to us for love. Uh, yeah, Fanny. Commercial 
and they treated me the same way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, what made that cat jump down in the car? I was on the floor of the car. Oh. Didn't you hear me say, Harold? That was one of our younger cats. Chauncey's too dignified to go through the roof of the car. <laughs> but uh, I raised these cubs last year, and I was lying on the floor of the car. The minute they saw me, they just jumped right down. Now, they <laughs> say that you can't train a cat. I mean, they train lions and tigers, but they say you can't train a cat. How can you train these? Well, we don't really believe in training animals to do tricks. What we do is study them and understand their nature. Like, we know that Harold will go through fire to get to me. So we don't train him to go through the roof. I just lie on the floor and call him. <laughs> and he shows up. Right. I used to go with a girl like that. That was about all she had. <laughs> right now, let's meet Pat's husband, Ted, and the two stars in the film we just saw, Chauncey and Christopher, and here comes Christopher. Oh, Christopher. Come on, kid, you can do it. That's a good boy. Oh, oh look at him. Now, how old is this little pussycat? This is Christopher, and he's three months old. Now, how fast will he get enormous? Uh, it'll take him about a year and a half. Now, he's declawed, is he? Chauncey is. Chauncey's he was declawed. somebody's pet, and they declawed him. Now, he is he growling or purring? He's this purring. This is a sound that he makes. He's made it all his life. Really? Oh, oh, they're yeah. gorgeous. Don't eat the soup, I'm sorry Christy, that those of you at home anymore. can't really see him. Oh, oh. Is that a smile? That's yeah. his snarl. That's what he, he knows he's, he's on, on camera. camera. Do it again, Paul. Do it again, Chauncey. Do you snarl? Big one. Come on, big one. Oh, that's great. Now, wait a minute. I'll get him to twitch his tail. That's my part. Watch. See? I tell you, these are two great cats. They're oh. gorgeous. They're beautiful. I wish my wife were here. Oh. <laughs> she was Listen, so thank great. you very much for being thank with us you. on What's My Line. Goodbye, kid. Thank, thank you, you for being thank with you. us. Fancy. 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 Goodbye, Pat. Thank you. Hey, we'll be back with more of What's My Line after this message.